हेलो स्टूडेंट्स प्लीज सब्सक्राइब द चैनल ड्रॉप अ लाइक शेयर एंड कमेंट दिस इज एक्सरसाइज नंबर फिफ्टीन ऑफ द प्रोग्रेसिव मंथली मैगजीन मार्च 2023 थाउजेंड ऑन द स्पीड ऑफ हंड्रेड वर्ड्स पर मिनट स्टार्ट वी नो फ्रॉम एक्सपीरियंस दैट डेमोक्रेटिक सोसाइटीज which guarantee individual freedom and tolerance of decent provide an environment most conducive to creative endeavor and the establishment of socially just societies we therefore have an obligation to help other countries that aspire for the fruits of democracy just as developed industrial countries assist those that are less developed to accelerate development democratic societies with established institutions must help those that want to strengthen democratic values and institutions in this spirit your president and i agreed yesterday on a global initiative to help build democratic capacities in all societies that seek such assistance the capacities we have in mind are those related to the electoral parliamentary judicial and human rights processes of emerging democracies respect for cultural diversity minority rights and gender equality is an important goal of this initiative democracy is one part of our national endeavor development is the other openness will not gain popular support if an open society is not a prosperous society this is especially so in developing countries where a large number of people have legitimate material expectations which must be met that is why we must transform india's economy to raise the standard of living of all our people and in the process eliminate poverty India's aspirations in this respect are not different from those of other developing countries but we are unique in one respect there is no other country of a billion people with our tremendous cultural linguistic and religious diversity that has tried to modernize its society and transform its economy within the framework of a functioning democracy to attempt this at our modest levels of per capita income is a major challenge we are determined to succeed in this effort to achieve our developmental goals our policies and strategies must be in step with changed circumstances and especially the opportunities now available in the global economy our prime minister standing at this very podium two decades ago spoke of the challenge of building a new on old foundations he started a process of reorienting india's economic policies which has been continued by successive governments the economic policy changes that have been made in india have far reaching implications they have liberated indian enterprise from government control and made the economy much more open to global flows of trade capital and technology our entrepreneurial talent has been unleashed and is encouraged to compete with the best we will continue this process so that indian talent and enterprise can realize its full potential enabling india to participate in the global economy as an equal partner we are often criticized for being too slow in making changes in policy but democracy means having to build a consensus in favor of change as elected representatives you are all familiar with this problem 
we have to clear the doubts and calm the fears that often arise when people face the impact of change many of the fears we have to address are exaggerated but they must be addressed this is necessary to ensure sustainability india's economic reforms must be seen in this light they may appear slow but i assure you they are durable and irreversible i am happy to say that our efforts at transforming india into an economy more integrated with the world have borne fruit our rate of growth of gdp has increased steadily and has averaged around 6.0% per year over the past two decades poverty has declined although more slowly than we would like we are determined to improve on this performance we hope to raise our growth rate to 8% or so over the next 2 years and we will ensure that this growth is inclusive so that its benefits are widely spread for this we must act on several fronts we must do much more in health and education which are crucial for human development we must continue to open up our economy we must impart a new impetus to agricultural development we must expand investment in economic infrastructure which is a critical constraint on our growth prospects India's growth and prosperity is in American interest. American investments in India, especially in new technology areas, will help American companies to reduce costs and become more competitive globally. Equally, India's earnings from these investments will lead to increased purchases from the United States. The information technology revolution in India is built primarily on US computer related technology and hardware. There are many other examples of such two way benefits with both sides gaining from the process. US firms are already leading the foreign investment drive in India. I believe 400 of the Fortune 500 are already in India. They produce for the Indian market and will hopefully also source supplies from India for their global supply chains. We welcome this involvement and look forward to further expansion in the years ahead. India needs massive foreign direct investment especially in infrastructure i hope american companies will participate in the opportunities we are creating the 21st century will be driven by knowledge based production in the world